hi guys in this video i am going to tell you about what blockchain technology is where is it used and what is the actual mechanism behind the blockchain technology so let's get started so blockchain technology is simply a system of a record of transactions which is stored across several computers it's a record of transactions which you can view or access from several computers now when i say several i mean millions of computers all right now why is it called blockchain it's called blockchain because this record of transactions is represented as a chain of blocks wherein each block represents a certain transaction all right so whenever you want to make a transaction you create a block and add it onto a blockchain the blockchain is simply a record of transactions made by anyone in the world right so this creates transparency because once you create a block on the blockchain meaning you have made a transaction you can view all the other blocks as well meaning you can view all the other transactions as well so anyone can view anyone's transaction that's going on anywhere right this is a very transparent system now let me break this down further for you see there's a person x who wants to send some money to person y all right so normally if there was no blockchain you would use a net banking or you would send him a check basically you would use a third party right the third party being the credit card company here so if there is a third party involved you will be charged a transaction fee or a convenience charge basically the benefit of using blockchain technology is that there is no third party therefore there is no transaction fee or convenience charge involved over here right so let me tell you how you would make this transaction using blockchain so first of all you will send him some digital money you will send him digital money which is cryptocurrency right so say instead of money person x is sending 50 bitcoins to person y so we'll have to create a block block is basically a transaction it contains three parameters the first one being the details of the transaction meaning where is the money being sent from to whom is it being sent and what is the amount of money that is being sent right there are two other two other parameters as well but i'll discuss that later so basically you have to mention these details for the transaction and request to add this block onto the existing blockchain so whenever your block gets added to the blockchain your transaction is finalized now anyone on the blockchain can see that okay person x has paid 50 bitcoins to person y and the transaction is complete and that amount will be deducted from person x account all right now imagine this scenario if person x has only 10 bitcoins in the account and is trying to send 50 right so this shouldn't be allowed right normally if you use net banking your bank will tell you that you have insufficient funds to make this transaction or if you are using applications like paytm or google pay those applications will tell you that you have insufficient money so who does that in blockchain in blockchain this verification is done by the users meaning the people on the blockchain so whenever you try to make a transaction and add a block onto the blockchain everybody on the blockchain gets notified that this transaction is trying to take place and only when 50% of the people verify and validate that this transaction is valid meaning the person who is trying to send this money has that much money in his account and it is being sent to a correct source only then the transaction gets finalized and your block will get added onto the blockchain now the question here is why would anyone else bother to verify somebody else's transaction why would somebody make this effort the reason is whenever you verify somebody else's transaction you get some digital money you get some cryptocurrency added onto your account which acts as an incentive for people to verify transactions so there's no third party involved people on the blockchain verify transactions so the first benefit is that there's transparency meaning everyone on the blockchain who has ever made a transaction can view every other transaction right there is transparency second point is that there is no third party involved meaning there is no centralization there is no central authority the third reason why blockchain has become so popular is because it's immutable meaning that once you create a block it cannot be tampered with and i'll tell you why because whenever you try to create a block there are three parameters that are assigned to it first is the details of the transaction the second is a address of a block so every block before getting added to the blockchain gets assigned a unique address right so say you have three blocks block a block b block c 
Now block B will be assigned a unique address and the third parameter it has is the address of the block before it. So it will also contain the address of block A and block A will contain the address of the block before it and this way the chain goes on. Now say block B contains details of a transaction which say that person X sent 50 bitcoins to person Y. So if I try to modify this and change it from 50 to 2000 bitcoins say. It's not possible because whenever I change the data inside a block, the address will also get changed. So once the address of block B gets changed, the block next to it is no longer pointing to the same block. And in this way, the entire blockchain gets invalid and you get to know that there has been tampering. Right? So it's completely immutable and much more secure. Right? Now blockchain has the potential to replace almost all transactions going on in the world. Now, for example, say you want to book tickets for a concert. Alright, so now use a third party application to book this app and you will use say net banking for that. So you will always have a transaction fee that you have to pay extra for whatever you pay. Right? The benefit of using blockchain, you can directly send the bitcoins to the person organizing the concert. And once people on the blockchain verify that you have sufficient money in your account, that money will be transferred and there will be no deduction of any sort of transaction fee and this is not only for money you can basically send any digital thing using a blockchain technology you can send them contract papers or property papers any information can be transferred using blockchain right so that's what the blockchain technology is hope this video made it clear about how it works and where is it used if you did understand it do like share and subscribe and yeah thank you for watching